All right, so we back. Uh, this is Tariq for Bear Facts Podcast on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. And the Bear Canvas Tattoo Studio on IG. Check out all the merch. Check out the services uh, we offer. And check out some of the backlog uh, different gift items, different t-shirts, t-shirt designs, NFTs, wood burnings, uh, glass engravings, and more merchandise and services and all that. The uh, podcast, The Bear Facts, on YouTube, you'll see all the uh, back log, back catalog playlists, uh, different things that'll show you basically the growth and standstill of what we're trying to put together, but at least we got some preliminary content. We got some archive videos. Like this is our second year. Like, no, we're in our third, we're in our third year of doing this. It's just me by say the Royal way. Um, but anyway, so now I'm gonna go through and talk about different, um, all the NFT designs that I got and what I, my thinking behind each one was. So, all right, so this was a Christmas gift for an ex-girlfriend. Now, um, her father was in the service. So, yeah, I mean, I made the, uh, and her father was one of her favorite people. So I made the NFT. I made it a, uh, like one of the motivational quote posters. Now this version is, two different versions and like as an NFT I can make it so the uniform is interchangeable to like you know the different branches of the military and stuff like that and then the flag is in the background you could probably do something interchangeable if they had different I did the flag but you can do it with different with different flags in different countries and stuff like that in the military excuse me so I don't remember. Um, I guess recently, every time we talk, like every time we talk, for whatever reason, I guess her dad comes up and maybe um, whatever. So I guess that was the thought, like behind. And like I said, I know how much her pop meant to her. So, and then like I said, as an NFT gift, this is something that's marketable. I'm sure, like that's very common. Like I said, like. In other segments over the last I guess 2015 years as far as the uh, war on terror has been going on and the uh, occupation of Afghanistan or whatever you want to say Iraq or whatever uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom that, that was a long time ago but like yeah you know I mean um, the occupation of Iraq I guess it was in Afghanistan but uh they just brought the soldiers home last year, like completely evacuated. And that's been like 20 years, 21 years. So like, um, the whole thing is like throughout that time on social media, I see the videos where the soldiers are the surprise trick home or uh, they fulfilled their, uh, their tour obligations or they fulfill Something or they're home on a furlough. They're home for the weekend, home, you know what I mean, for an event, and it's a surprise that they're coming home. Now, at the, like, I'm guessing with the advances in technology, everybody having a camera, and, um, because I'm sure, like, that happened throughout life. It's probably just, like, you know, captured more on video, displayed more on social media uh, things, but still, just that, like, that. Like, you know, I see that and be, like, happy for the individuals. And then it's like, you know what I mean, when that uh, evacuation of of Afghanistan, um, terrorists bomb not just U.S. soldiers, but their own people. Like, that, like, with all the social media coverage of all the uh, reunitings and stuff like that, off of tours, successful trips home, it's like, you know what I mean, that makes you really think and stop and think. Like, everybody don't make it home. And it was only like a hundred U.S. soldiers, and I don't want to say only, but it was like a thousand of their own Afghani people, even though they're terrorists and they were evacuees or whatever. But like you know, everybody don't make it home, so 
everybody don't get those surprise. Some people get like the wrapped up flag, folded up flag, and you know. So you know, the concept behind it was you know, it was like really something that I know about her for as far as her her relationship with her father and uh, our relationship, whatever. And then, like, you know, something marketable. So it's sentimental as a gift, as it's supposed to. And then it it brings value to your pocket, I guess. Financial value, too. So, you know what I mean? I've, and that could be a motivational poster in, like, the VA or schools or different things. Like, you know, if you change out and swap out features on different things, it's like you can um, market it. Like I said, with different cultures, races, creeds, countries, and all that. So, like, yeah, I mean, that, that's the first NFT. I forget what I call it, but like I said, this was a gift. This was a gift for ex girlfriend. So, it's up to them. I only, this isn't even on my um, Instagram or uh, YouTube, but it, the, the explanation behind it will be it'll be up to the uh, person if they want to sell it. So far, I haven't heard anybody selling me stuff, but. Mm -hmm.